at some point you're going to have to deal with a PDF. And rather than print it out and highlighting it, one of the things you can do is use an annotation program like Goodreader. It's another $5 app. You can see uh, a list of my PDFs here and you can create a folder structure within it. Uh, here's one for my classroom management. I'll tap it. Here's a whole bunch of PDFs within it. Let me tap another one. And then here's the, uh, the actual pages. Now normally I would rotate the screen so I would be able to see this full size. However, I can just basically grow it. So let's say I want to highlight a sentence here. I will just hold down until I get uh, the selection bars and then I'll, let's just drag to the part that I want and at this point I can have all these different highlighting choices so I'm just going to pick a regular old standard highlighting now what it's asking here is it's giving me an option to either modify the original file or to create a new file that has the highlightings in it and I'm just going to save the highlighting to this file directly. It'll never ask me that again about this particular file. You can see I now have highlighting. Um, another neat feature and something that I would do is a lot of times after I was done highlighting I would create book notes. So if I tap that, okay, one of the things I can do is copy that whole highlighted section. Then if I go into let's say pages and let me make a quick blank document here. I can paste that in the pages. And in fact, what I like to do, I'm going to use a, um, a gesture to move between the two. So I just kind of like pushed myself back into uh, Goodreader here. And I can scroll down and read some more and highlight, let's say, another section. I'll even copy it and then I'll also highlight it. And I'm going to go back, tap. Or double tap bring up that menu and paste so this way I can actually create book notes um, but me moving back and forth um, Goodreader is a, a program with a lot of depth to it uh, you'll notice that these uh, icons have little uh, circles on it and what they do is they're actually set up to sync with a folder I have on my Dropbox. So I'm going to show you how this works. I'm going to go into my SU Dropbox account. In fact, you can see I've got all of these different servers that I can uh, pull information off of directly into Goodreader. So I'm going to tap SU Dropbox. And here's the folders I have on my SU Dropbox account. I'm going to go into this Unit 1. and uh, the readings. Here's all a bunch of PDFs here. Now, I just was showing you what was in here. I'm going to actually going to go back one level and highlight this. And I want to sync this folder. It's basically telling me how it's, that it's going to sync. And I'm going to put it in the My Documents area. So I'll just say Download here and Synchronize. You can see I now have a new uh, unit 1 reading folder. Nothing's in it yet. And that's because I actually haven't synced it. So at this point it's pulling down those four PDFs from my Dropbox account and storing them on my iPad. Now if I go into one of these and let's say uh, open it up and highlight something And I'll come back out of it. So there you actually see the highlighting there. Uh, and you can see I've got Unit 1 Reading. So if I tap this uh, little uh, arrow, I'm not sure what the heck you would call that, that button there, that's actually going to take this annotated copy and make it go back up to my Dropbox 
account. So now if I go back to my MacBook, uh, I can open that file up and all my annotations will be there. So I can basically be, you know, in the student center, on a plane, in a car, as long as I'm not driving, and I can be, um, you know, reading my uh, assignments and highlighting and, and making annotations. Uh, and when I'm on a network connection again, I can sync those back up to my Dropbox account. And then I can open those PDFs on my MacBook and work with them there as well. So this is a really nice program for working with PDFs, which seems to be a very popular way of disseminating information these days. And the program again is Goodreader. I think it's about a five to eight dollar app.